Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, I'll be using uh, an interesting note in Sverchok called Align Mesh by Mesh. Okay, so this is an example setup. Um, so we have this box that we can scale, and you can see the other box actually maintaining um, kind of the distance, and also it knows the position of, you know, like the, the minimum and the maximum of bounding box of the other box and they all can kind of move and resize or actually change its position if the other one changes so that's thanks to this setup uh, using a line mesh by mesh okay um, in order to understand this maybe we should start from scratch so I think this works really well especially with uh, things like boxes because it's using the bounding box of the 3d mesh so if it's uh, if you if you want to do like a stacking of box or maybe like a box to represent books and you want to put it side by side this one can do the job so let's uh, let's create two boxes and create a viewer viewer node connect the two they both at the same place, same size. Now I rescale the other one. Now we're gonna use align mesh by mesh. Okay, so let's say this is the base and this is the box that's moving. So the output of this, so there's this uh, minimum and maximum that we can change. You, you will see very quick, uh, very soon. If I create a temporal viewer. So this is the resulting mesh currently seems like kind of overlapping because I have to get rid of this. Okay, so this is the first one. Let's give it a red color. Second one, give it a yellow color. Now, if I scale this box, you can see this one is kind of being pushed and it's always going to be on the side it's going to be touching on the side of the bounding box of the red one based on the x-axis same thing this is like the minimum and maximum that we can choose and also this you can choose the center if you want to do that and if you want you can also change the axis so i can actually use this setup to make a stacking box so this is also super useful. Let me say it very quickly. Align stack. So if you use this setup and use uh, the loop in and loop out, you can create a like a stacking box very very quickly, and you can randomize also. Um, here by default box is center you can also make it bottom so now if i scale it you know the box will change position so this is very cool um you can create a you can stack like a, maybe like a and make like a robot setup this way um i will try that at some point or make like a book stacking if you stack book books like Let's try another one. So I, I make another cube, but using this guy as the base. This guy can be green color. So once again, this can be loop. That's why this is gonna work like this. This is the, the previous box. Can I give it a different color? Scale it see this is the very very interesting I'm using 2.90 okay 2.92 actually have tools that allow you to draw box on another box and it's actually uh, very cool but I'm, um, I'm doing it using notes um, this is also super interesting 
because we can always change the size of the box we can randomize it and everything will update accordingly well I always want to have something like this and using it uh, procedurally so look at these shapes each, each have certain proportion and you can start to use your imagination and okay you think okay this looks like a certain character even though it's only the middle part you can draw the arm here maybe the legs here so they they're kind of connected it's almost like a lego of course Lego stacking or Uno Uno tower stacking. Let's do this one more time. So all this duplicated. This is the result from previous one. Change the size if you like. Change the matrix size. Change the matrix here. You, you can actually offset it also. But um, but it's using the bounding box of the previous so let's say instead of using box Suzanne this is going to be the one that moves this is going to be the base now we have Suzanne head at the top maybe we need to scale it So we create like a totem. So Suzanne is using the bounding box of this guy and it's gonna stack. In fact, in fact if um you can also replace each one of them with Suzanne head if you like. Okay, so that's basically what this align mesh by mesh is doing. It's very powerful. Um, you give it a try, once you understand it, it's so easy to use and it's very powerful. You can stack objects like this and then you, you can place, for example, you want to place another box over here with a green one next to each other and you can mirror it. So you have like a super basic uh, setup in mean, like rough setup for character or or anything that you want to create all right so yeah hopefully this is useful let me know what to think and i'll see you next time thank you bye